Hi everyone, today I will show you how to set up Google Analytics on Shopify with Google Tag Manager. If you want to track how many audience visit your store and how many users click add to cart or check out or purchase your product, you need to set up Google Analytics on your Shopify store using Google Tag Manager. In this video, I will show you step by step how to do that. First, you need to create a Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager account for your Shopify store and connect google tag manager with your shopify store then set up tactical variable in gtm gtm means google tag manager for example if you want to track how many user click add to cart so you need to create a add to cart ticker in gtm so if you want to track how many visitor purchase our product we need to create purchase ticker in gtm and it's very easy to do that if you don't know how to create analytics and tag manager account you can watch my previous video i will provide my previous video link in the description box so please check out so now let's see how we can add google tag manager on our shopify store to install google tag manager on your shopify store first open your google tag manager account then you can see here is container id if you click this container id then you can see here is two code first code is for header section and second code is for body section so first you need to copy header section code then go your shopify store i mean your shopify backend then select online store then theme then you need to click this three dot icon and click edit code after click edit code you can see screen like this here you need to paste here header gtm container code now if you select this code area and press ctrl f then search here for body section code so i just simply search here body if i enter then we can see here is body section and now we need to paste here our gtm body container code so copy your body container code from gtm and paste here after paste here just click on save so gtm installation is done so let's see google tag manager connected with our website or not so for that if you go preview If you go preview in GTM and paste your website URL here, then if you click connect after uh, loading this page, you can see Google Tag Manager connected with your website or not. Here we can see Tag Assistant connected, and that means our Google Tag Manager successfully connected with our Shopify store okay so google tag manager installation is done now let's see how we can connect google analytics with our website so for that first you need to open your google analytics account and then click on admin section then you need to go data stream so select data stream then select your gfo property after select this property you can see here measurement id you can see you need to copy this measurement id actually what we do first we create google tag manager account then we connect google tag manager with our shopify store and now we are going to connect google analytics with our shopify store through google tag manager google tag manager help us to configure tag tagger variable so gtm is very helpful tools we are using gtm for connectivity with google analytics with our website so copy measurement id then go google tag manager and select variables click on user defined variables variable configuration then you need to select here constant variable and paste here your google analytics measurement id why we create constant variable here because when we are going to create some tag that time we need to paste our google analytics measurement id again and again if we create constant variable so we can just easily select our this variable from tag section for that you need to paste here in the value section your measurement id and now you can write your this variable name so i just write here google analytics id then save this variable okay so now we need to we need to go tag section new select tag configuration you can see here is google analytics select this one select google tag okay you can see here we need to put our 
tag ID. Tag ID means our Google Analytics measurement ID. So you can paste here your Google Analytics ID. Also you can select your constant variable that we are just create. So select plus icon. Here you can see your Google Analytics ID. So select this ID. Then you need to select triggering. So select triggering all pages. Okay. Then you need to write here your tag name. So I just write here Google. Google Analytics config tag and save this tag so what we do here actually we are just connect google analytics with our website through google tag manager and now if i submit this google tag manager it's just collecting basic data from our audience like if someone visit your website you can see page view even in ga4 that means you can see only how many visitor visit your website but you can't see any data like how many audience go your product page how many visitor click out to got check out or purchase you can't see any data in google analytics if you want to track them you need to create some trigger in gtm and you need to configure manually in gtm so let's see how we can do that and before create trigger in gtm first you need to enable data layer on your shopify store and you can see i create this doc file you can follow this step by step guide from this doc and our step 3 is complete like connect google tag manager with shopify store and also we are already connected google analytics with our website through google tag manager now step 4 is enabling data layer on shopify store so let's check our website have data layer enabled or not how you can check this first open your website and if i go any product page and then open new tab and you need to search here data layer checker extension you need to just install this extension in your browser so you can check easily your website have data layer or not so if you search data layer checker plus you will find this extension just just install this extension in your browser i have already installed this extension in my browser you can see so if i click this extension then you can see here sorry no data layer found so let's see how we can enable data layer so if you open my doc file you can find another folder here is folder name is data layer enabling and also i will provide this doc file link in this video description so check out please and if you open it then you can see here we are going to follow three easy step step one create a new snippet so here you can see i provide step by step guide first navigate to online store theme then edit code then locate the snippet section so let's see practical how we can do that so for that open your shopify store then click on online store then theme select the dot icon click edit code then select theme dot liquid file then here you can find is then here you can find snippet name folder if you open this folder then here you can select add a new snippet so click on add a new snippet here you need to provide file name so let's open our doc file and see what name we can provide here you can see create a new snippet and name it gtm customer event store font you need to copy this name like this then done here you need to paste another code so open doc file here you can see code link so open this link then you can get this code you need to just copy this full code then back your store paste here then click save okay our step one is done step two add the snippet to the theme so you need to copy this yellow color code you can see so copy full yellow color code and select theme dot liquid and in the header section you need to paste this code so i just paste here under on google tag manager code after paste this code just click on save okay this code show red color that means maybe i miss something so yeah i just fix it then click on save okay our step 2 is done 
now we need to follow step 3 in the custom pixel script so so you need to go to shopify settings then select customer event and click on add custom pixel okay here you need to write your pixel name like gtm pixel then click on add pixel here you can see little bit code just remove this code and up in this link custom pixel link and you can get this doc file from my video description so please check out okay so now you need to copy this full code then paste here and here you need to change something that is your gtm container id you can see here is gtm container id so open your gtm and copy your container id and just change here and then just paste here okay it's done then save then click on save and here you need to change little bit and just select permission then then select not require and data cell and select data collected does not qualify as a data cell then click on connect okay so our data layer implementation is done so if i open my website and click re and refresh this page and now if i click on this extension here you can see show view item event that means our shopify data layer enabling is successful so now we don't need these two tab just close this tab and go back our main node so now our enabling data layer on shopify store is done step 5 is create tag trigger and variable in gtm so let's see how we can create some trigger and some tag okay so if i go another page and select extension then you can see here is view item so if you want to track how many audience view your product i mean how many user go your product page and your product page mean in gfo language it's a view item so if you want to track how many user view your product you need to create view item trigger in gtm so let's see how we can create trigger so go trigger in your gtm then click new trigger configuration then select custom event okay so now we need to write here event name for product view it's called view item so just write here view underscore item then save this trigger and you can write your trigger name so i just write here view item trigger you can write anything here and then save this trigger okay so we are going to create four trigger like view item add to cart checkout also purchase create new trigger select custom event then you can paste here add to cart event okay so this is our add to cart trigger so i just write this trigger name add to cart then save this trigger okay same way we need to create or we need to create another trigger that is checkout so i just write here event name begin checkout this trigger will be begin underscore checkout everything in small letter don't forget it then save this trigger write your trigger name then save this trigger again <coughs> so if i go check out and if i click extension you can see fire here begin check out event so we are just already create this trigger okay so now we need to create another trigger that is purchase and this is our main trigger for e-commerce business even name will be purchase everything in small letter then save this trigger okay so i just write here ticket name purchase trigger and then save this trigger okay our trigger creating done now we need to create some tag so let's see how we can create some tag so go tag section click new tag configuration select google analytics then ga4 event and here we need to paste our measurement id so press plus icon 
then select google analytics id here and now you need to write your event name again so we already know how to write event name like for product view it's uh, view item in ga4 you need to write as like this view underscore item so you can see here is another option more setting just click this more settings option then check this box send e-commerce data and now we need to select triggering for view item select your view item trigger here then save this tag and here you need to write your tag name so as we know we can write here our tag name like it's a view item tag so we can write here view item tag then save this tag okay our first tag create done now we need to create more three tags so let's see how we can create same way just select j4 event here select your measurement id then your event name will be add to cart then select more settings select send e-commerce data then trigger will be add to cart trigger and save this tag right here your tag name then save this tag okay again we need to create another tag for checkout so select tag configuration google analytics g4 event select measurement id from here google analytics event name will be begin checkout so right here begin underscore checkout then select more option check data layer select triggering will be checkout trigger then write your tag name and save this tag and now we need to create another trigger that is purchase and purchase our main goal okay so select g4 event here we know uh, we need to paste our measurement id so select google analytics id and event name will be purchase then you need to press more settings and check send e-commerce data then select triggering purchase trigger okay or tag create done write your tag name purchase tag and save okay our setup is done it's time to check our setup properly working or not so let's see how we can check our setup completely working or not for that if you go preview and connect so first open in your google analytics account then go admin then go debug view here we can see what actually and here we can see what type of data ga4 received from our website we can see and and then if you go your product page on your shopify store then g4 should receive view item event and if i click add to cart then g4 also should receive add to cart event so let's test it if i click add to cart and if i go debug view we can see here is receive g4 already view item but we didn't see any add to cart data we have to wait some time here then we can see add to cart data g4 will be received so now you can see g4 already received our add to cart event and if i purchase this product for testing purpose we can see uh, purchase event g4 receive or not so let's purchase this product so purchase is done if i go google analytics debug view uh, here we can see uh, we can check out event show here and uh, now we should see purchase event in g4 uh, so wait a moment yeah uh, we can see purchase event is show here that means our setup configuration properly work and I hope this video will help you to configure G4 e-commerce tracking on your Shopify store. If you think this video is helpful for you, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And if you need any help from me, you can contact with me. I will definitely help you. So thanks for watching.